Hey guys, it's Iman here, and today in this video, I hope to show you guys three things I think you should know before you write the PSA exam. Let's get to it. I made a video about my plans to get good grades in the PSA exam, and now it seems to be getting more views than usual. Now, I think this may be because of the lockdown and then students are watching different varieties of content and YouTube is recommending to students but um, either way, I have decided to make a video about the exam based on my experience so sort of like a follow up video on it. I should have done this a long while ago. Alright, number one, no one's fully prepared. I see that students get a bit stressed out about preparing for the exam, most especially at the last moment that they are meant to use to actually prepare and study for the exams. Before we are given our math paper, I remember I was like maybe 67% prepared for the exam, but I was worried, I, I, of course I was worried, but I told myself that I tried my best preparing for this exam, so I should give my best and let you show that I had tried my best. To actually prepare for this exam and I did averagely well I didn't get an A but I got a B which I was comfortable with and this is coming from someone who made a video about getting good grades in the exam like a year before the exam so so don't stress over it just cool down and try your best number two there's always a pattern Something like the English exam paper, you see that we first of all have comprehension, then um, vocabulary development, then uh, maybe speech or sounds. Take a look at this section carefully, one by one. If you have problems in any of them, practice them until you feel like you've mastered them. Again, like the mathematics exam paper, you see closer to the end we have questions on statistics and geometry. If you have problems there, you can work on them and practice them until you've mastered them. Do this for every subject you see that there's some sort of pattern there so keep on practicing until you feel comfortable with it right, number three um you're kind of late to search about videos or tips about the exam you see only 70 percent of what you write in the best exam contributes to your actual final grade 30 percent comes from your cumulative assessment that is your um final grade for your gss one two and three I think this is what helped me in my PSA exam. My CA for subjects like um, maths, provocational studies, and basic science were um, averagely okay, and I got B's in them in my final grade. But whether or not your CA is good or bad, you still have to try your best for the PSA exam. So no go and use calculator. I really envy you guys now because I don't think this this happens in the SSC. If you feel it's a bit too late for you, you can tell your friends in junior classes that the journey, the preparation for the best exam starts from their classes right there. So maybe you can encourage them to get better grades in their CA. Thanks for watching this video. You guys know the usual. Like, subscribe, tell me something in the comment section below. Um, I wish you guys good luck in the best exam and until next time, stay safe and stay strive to be a better you. Bye bye.